pretty exciting. That was Sydney Pollock's reaction after receiving a $100 gift card from her grandparents last year. Tracking every penny, she used it a few times until she went to a San Francisco bookstore to spend her remaining balance. I knew there was money left on it um, and it was declined. I have no idea what happened to it. Where did Sydney's money go? There's a good chance someone stole it. If this is happening to me, this I'm not the only person. She's right. I checked it and it said the balance was zero. NBC responds and respond day teams across the country have heard from many. The lady tried it a couple of times, swiping it and it wouldn't go through. Like Nancy Marinero out of Elgin, who told us after buying a gift card this past holiday season, someone swindled me and stole $499.50. A lot of money. In fact, the Federal Trade Commission estimates gift card losses amount to tens of millions of dollars each month. Retailers are seeing it too. There are groups out there that this is all they do. The National Retail Federation, a trade group that represents the country's stores, says gift card fraud is rising. I've seen investigations that we've had amateurs all the way to large scale criminal organizations. Normally, we don't show you criminals methods, but here we feel like we have to to help you protect yourself. So here's how it works. Crooks grab gift cards off the rack. They write down the numbers and pins, then put the cards back. Using computer bots, they wait to see if money has been loaded onto the card. And if it happens, they now have access to that card and that pin with a value that they can then use online. Another method, Johnston says, thieves tampering with cards. Using stickers, they'll replace the barcodes and pin labels with their own. So when you load money onto the card in your hand, your money actually goes onto a card in the crook's hand. Scammers in Canada tried that very method, but picked the wrong target. <laughs> well, I'm an ex-police officer. Michelle Law spotted some tampered gift cards in a store. You can feel the sticker. It has a little bit of a ridge on it. And posted this video on social media to warn consumers, garnering millions of views. It went viral for all the right reasons. With the rising fraud reports, stores and gift card companies are responding. Some retailers are putting cards behind the counters. Gift card companies are improving packaging, like sealing gift cards, to prevent tampering. Either way, advocates say it pays to take the time to inspect a card before purchasing or after you received one. Kind of feel it, look at it, visually inspect it. I mean, you know, for, for 20 seconds, it will save so much hassle on so many people. 